fire damaged much of the only elementary school campus in the town of Trenton, northeast of Dallas, on the border of Fannin and Grayson counties. Good evening, I'm Clarice Tinsley. Investigators are still working to determine the cause of that fire. Trenton ISD is also working on plans to minimize the disruption to its young students. Fox News David Centendry joins us with the school fire investigation. David. Yeah, Clarice, and the entire Trenton ISD school district is closed right now, and students and staff are in limbo because it will remain closed tomorrow while the district finalizes its plans to return at least some students back to campus. Some students who attend Trenton Elementary School in Fannin County and their families are wondering where they will go for classes after a fire destroyed part of the school early Monday morning. I cried. Children of Miguel Cisneros, who are students, have been emotional while thinking of the damage. As soon as I told him, he was face down, tears out. He was bawling this morning. The Trenton fire chief tells Fox 4 he does not know what caused the fire. He believes it started near the school's office, but he says the heat of the fire compromised the main building's structural steel. So firefighters have been unable to get inside for an up close look. He says the state fire marshal's office will lead the investigation and will be on scene Tuesday morning. Uh, heartbreaking for this community. Trenton ISD's superintendent says areas destroyed are for pre-K through second grade students. It affects classrooms of nearly 200 kids. In this building right now, it's going to be roughly 190. There's another building for other students. Our third and fourth grade is in a separate building, and that building that they are in was not damaged or harmed. We'll rally together. We are putting a plan together, and we are going to do whatever it takes to take care of our kids. It's kind of hard to believe. Miguel Cisneros also went to school here decades before his children. Now his kids are feeling low about what happened overnight. Because I love my school. Now, when we're talking about the pre-K classrooms that were affected, those were not affected because of the actual fire, more so smoke damage. Those are mobile classrooms that are just outside of that main building. And again, while the middle school and high school is closed for right now, those buildings entirely remain unaffected, according to the district. 